Farm on Sam's Story Treasury. Bug-eyed boy from Venus. One night, Fireman Sam was showing, was showing Sarah, James and Norman how to use his telescope. Point it over here, said Sam to the planet Venus. Venus, said Norman, bug-eyed monsters live there. Just then, a bright light lit up the sky. It's a shooting star, said Sam. No, that was an alien ship, said Norman, from Venus. The next day, when James, Sarah and Norman were on their way to school, Norman spotted a crop circle. Look, said where the aliens landed. Look, look, it's where the aliens landed, he told them. There's no such thing as aliens, said Trevor Evans, the bus driver. We'll see about that. We'll see about that, whispered Norman. After school, Norman went to Bella's cafe. He covered him. He covered his face in green mushy peas and put on a silver foil cape and and helmet. Ah! Wailed Norman in his best alien voice. News of news of the alien soon spread when Trevor saw it heading for Ponta Pandy Mountain. He told James and Sarah. Come on, said James. We'll catch him. Norman was running along. Norman was running along the along. Norman was running along when he slipped up the path into a muddy bog. He tried to get out, but he sank deeper and deeper into the black mud. Help! He cried as Trevor and the twins arrived. Help! I'm stuck! cried Norman. Get me out of here! Back at the shop, Dillis was so worried about Norman. Then she rang 999. My Norman's been taken by aliens, she reported. Sam got the message, pressed alarm, and the bell started ringing. Aliens, he said. Likely story, but we better send out a search party. Jupiter and the fire station crew were soon out of the road and at the mountain rescue... And at the mountain rescue station, Tom Thomas lifted off in the helicopter. Action stations! Trevor knew how dangerous the bog was. He lay flat and told Sarah and James to hold on to his legs as he stretched out his hand to Norman. As he stretched out to her, as he to hold on to his legs, as he stretched out his hand to Norman. Hurry up, Mr. Ne- Hurry up, Mr. Evans, said Norman. My pants are filling up with mud. It's no good. I'm sinking, said Trevor. Pull me back. We need help. As he spoke, the helicopters, as he spoke, the helicopters' blades whirred above them, and the searchlight swept the sky. Over here, cried Trevor. Minutes later, Tom winched Sam up into the air, then lowered him down over the bog. Norman was very pleased to see. Norman was very pleased to see him. Sam put a harness up. Um, Sam put a harness under Norman's arms. I've got him! He shouted to Tom. Take it away! The helicopter rose up into the dark sky with Sam and Norman in toy. In in toy. Squelch, went Norman as he was pulled free from the mud. Dillis and Bella were waiting in the park when they saw the helicopter's lights. That's, it's the spaceship that took my Norman, said Dillis. A second later, a strange shape, ap- a strange shape appeared in the darkness. It's a hideous, said Bella. It's a terrifying, it's a... Norman said Dillis as he and Sam as he and Sam stepped out of the shadows. Yes, one green alien safe and sound, said Sam. My little precious, said Dillis, giving Norman a big kiss. Oh ma'am, said Norman. Yuck. The end.